Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rhonda, and if you enjoy DIY projects and anything that involves making your home more cozy and inviting, you're in the right place. Today at Green Cottage Goods, we've got a special project just for you. Today I'll be sharing how I turned a little bit of raw lumber into a beautiful set of distressed rabbits, perfect for your spring decor. Before you say you can't do this, stick around and let me show you just how easy it was. I used a piece of white pine board in a size 1 by 12 to do the project. I have three different size rabbits. Uh, my patterns range from 9.5 inches to 13.5 inches tall. I traced these out on the board, avoiding the knots in the board as those would crumble when you would saw that area. Um, I got many different uh, rabbits per board, and uh, once they were all traced out, then it was on to the sawing. Now I know some of you are probably saying, sawing, you said this was going to be easy. Trust me it is. Before this project, the only um, power tool that I had ever held was a sander. So trust me when I say this is an easy project to do. I used a jigsaw to cut the rabbits out, and I'm gonna demonstrate for you just how easy it is. While the saw was extremely loud, it was simple to use. Um, it's just like tracing. Um, you just wanna stay on those lines. It was a simple tool, a very small tool to use, and one that just did not have to have a lot of knowledge, just you have to be safe. I did use a Black & Decker jigsaw for this project, and I will say again how easy it was to uh, maneuver the saw. It was extremely simple for a beginner. I would recommend this um, saw definitely for anybody who's a beginner and you're just starting out using power tools. I'm going to apologize for this uh, video right away. I had camera in one hand and paint roller in the other, so it's definitely not a great clip. Uh, once the rabbits were cut out, I did lay them on a table. I placed dowel rods underneath them so that when I flipped the rabbits over, if they were a little sticky or tacky, they wouldn't stick to the table. Um, I rolled on flat white paint onto the rabbits. It was antique white, so just simply rolled it on. For the edges of the rabbits and between the ears, I did use a finishing um, brush to get in those tiny places but very simple, flat white paint, couple coats, and that's all it took. I uh, gave it a little bit of a dry time, and then it was on to the distressing. Now, if you're sitting here thinking, you know what, this still looks pretty easy. I think I might be able to do this. You're right, you can. Distressing is definitely my favorite part of the entire project. I would just love to see uh, what happens to the wood once you take that orbital sander and you start sanding. Now this is personal preference, uh, where you want to put your distressing, where you want to put more um, emphasis on your distressing. I did distress the entire rabbit, although one side will probably be the only side seen, um, but I did distress the entire rabbit. As I said, it's personal preference, whatever you, wherever you want to put um, more distressing, I focused on the outer edges. Typically where a project or a product would definitely see the most wear. So the ears and the outer edges got the majority of the distressing. So simple to use this sander. My daughter, my teenage daughter could do it. If they can do it, or she can do it, and I can do it, you can do it too. Once the distressing was finished, I did bring the rabbits back inside and over by my sink, I used a watered down version of Waverly Antiquing Wax to uh, distress even further to give it that aged and more vintage look. I used approximately half and half mixture of Waverly Antiquing Wax and water and just used a regular house sponge to apply the mixture. I then let it sit for just a few minutes before I took a wet rag and wiped off the excess. Um, you'll see in just a minute how it goes from bright white to definitely a more vintage look. And once the antiquing wax has been removed, you'll notice that the rabbits take on a little bit more of a vintage appearance. The final step in this project was simply to take the rabbits and put a piece of twine around the neck, tie a simple bow. Um, in the background, you'll see some other rabbits just standing 
those are ones that have the antiquing wax. I'm just giving it a minute to dry, um, but these are the finished looks. So I did share this project on my Facebook group page and sold over 20 sets of these rabbits uh, for Easter. Guys, this was such a simple project. Anyone could do it. I really think that if you're if you're wanting to try um, some woodworking, some some DIYs like this, this would be a simple project to start with. Um, anyway, this is what the set, the set looks like, and it's so easy. I want to thank you again for coming into the Green Cottage Goods YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more DIY videos like this, and don't forget to cl click the bell so that you'll be notified when a new video is posted. Thank you again, and we'll see you next time at Green Cottage Goods. Bye-bye.